What is that thing? A fish or a frog or a fish frog. He's a real sleepy little grumpy little guy. He was probably partying all night. He's going to the fish because the fish aren't coming to him. So I just booked my ticket for a Peng River cruise. Google mapped it and I got it. It's in this temple of the chickens. Mm -hmm. So it's chickens everywhere. Some of them look real mean. This is the end of Loy Crow Road. So from this road, just before you get to the bridge, you gotta hang a right. And then it's maybe 200 meter walk from here. You go through that temple I was talking about earlier. If you're interested in booking a ticket to this place, if you walk through Wat Che Mon Khan, which is right beside me here, you walk through it and you walk right up to the, to the river and then they have a little place there you can buy tickets. And they were cheaper than what the people were telling me. They were telling me 700 baht at the uh, ticket booking place. But if you go right to the boat, it's 550 baht. So I'm looking forward to a sweet little two hour river cruise coming up here. This is where you go through these beautiful gates. Now I'm gonna see if I have time for, uh, for a nice cold drink before I go. Yes, I do, it's only 12.30. Apple soda it is. It's uh, 25 baht. It's hot today. Yes, it's hot. It's normal for Thailand. Yeah. But you, it's so hot, right? It's very hot for me, yes. Past the temple and onto the dock. That's really good. Of course it's good. Just what the doctor ordered. And when you get to the steps, it's this way. Past the boss rooster. He's boss. I don't want to go too close to him. He looks like he might attack me. Looks like he had a rough night. Or he had a rough week. And right here. There's the boats. Departure time every hour. So I just inquired with the young lady that works here about the Dinner River Cruise. I thought that would be an interesting one to do, but apparently since COVID they haven't had it open yet. So they're waiting for it to be more and more busy. They don't have enough people to run that tour yet. So if you're coming to Chiang Mai just for that Dinner River Cruise, don't, don't come for that. You can buy food to feed the fish, but not the birds. There's a sign that says no feeding the birds, but you can feed the fish. Fish are just like birds without wings, and, on, and they live underwater. Hope it's this boat. Yeah, this one? Okay. All set up, get this boat rolling. There's my hotel. The Diamond River Pang. Here comes Captain now. Here comes Captain now. Time to get out of Dodge. And this is the Nara Wad Bridge. This is where they had the, the big Ye Ping Loi Katong Festival. You can see people fishing on it. On the banks. That's where I launched my croissant. Yep, only a few days ago. This bridge was absolutely packed for Loy Croissant. Some more fisher people. Looks like a pretty nice hotel. This was the Riverside boat tour. I was looking at that one too. So you can get the dinner cruise. You can get the dinner cruise there. Hang Mai is Chinatown. Haven't been in there yet. He's getting it, getting her done. This guy here, he's, he's going to the fish because the fish aren't coming to him. Perfect cast. These folks are working hard. Wonder what they're planting. 
probably coconut trees. I wonder what it costs to get a house here along the river. Some pretty nice places. Be a nice place to live. Lots of garbage along the river, but not as many katongs as I thought I'd see. They must have all flowed down the river. This river flows into Bangkok. I should take that, I should take a boat back to Bangkok. That'd be better than a train, I think. This guy hates the sun. Loves to fish, hates the sun. That's quite the house there. Must have all the money. Fish traps, catfish traps. Lots of fishing, that's pretty much all we're seeing on this tour is fishermen and houses. And he likes to stop and talk about restaurants a lot. Another sun hater. On the left hand one is a coffee shop. Oh, there's and a coffee shop. Mainly coffee shop. And I said, I have a lot of coffee shop. Chiang Mai's got a lot of coffee shops. I don't really drink coffee though, so I haven't been going to them. On the left hand is a little place and first of all, it has a good restaurant. Another restaurant. On the left. Very expensive restaurant, he says. We don't need to go there. So far, it's only been coffee shops and fishermen that we've seen. Not a super exciting trip, but relaxing. Not a bad way to spend a couple hours today. And as we're getting out of the city, things are getting better. Maybe we see an elephant. All this tall grass, you just never know what's gonna jump out at you. Could be a tiger, could be a bear, could be a king cobra. That's the king's sister's house. She lives a simple life. She doesn't do anything much. She goes shopping sometimes but just likes to live a simple life in her simple house. Because the other princess is one that she lives a simple life and do everything easy. Uh, oh, the left hand, sorry. Oh, you have one hand one. Water and, dragon. Uh, shopping mall, shopping center. Or maybe it's because of one, three, one. There's a big mood in their building. Oopsie doodle. Ah, it's pretty nice out here once you get out of the city. It's gonna be a much, much better trip now. No fishermen out here though. That's where all fish are because there's no fishermen. Look around for us. A little stop. Lunch here. And we will have one that we are lunch and have ice cream. We hope to serve you up there. And we come back here, back to the boat at the. Thank you. Yeah, interesting. He just said round before was he did some shooting here. And he came into this restaurant. Old Rocky, old Sly. All the silver tongue, Sylvester. Rocky Four is probably a lot more interesting than this video I'm making, but maybe not. I'll let you decide. This one is you. You where black yeah. pepper comes from. Travel, Look at this little guy in here. Good sleep. Oh, and, uh, yeah. There he is. But uh, the young people. Hello. What are you? These cows have become petrified. So here's a little kind of museum and a little restaurant where you can feed. Right inside, bread, I'll get a half skin. Uh, after bread, you have a bamboo basket, it's separate. Uh, take a half skin out, just like that. And you see an old city on the wall here? Support to Bangkok. You look at the first city here, the river, very shallow. If you remember, we came here, now we passed here. Uh, it's mean I live in a hot season. Uh, also, this, this area and before when no bridge. So friendly little guys. So the tour does a little stop here, a uh, little restaurant place, and there's a bunch of cool little trees around. Uh, plants that I've never seen before. Black pepper, never seen that before. Cinnamon, my hands smell like cinnamon because I rubbed the cinnamon leaves all over it. He's got coffee beans, coffee beans. Apparently everybody's ticket came with food, but not mine. They never asked me if I wanted food with my ticket. So I had to shell out 90 baht because everyone else is eating and I'm just sitting here. Now it's probably gonna be because I had to order it, it's probably gonna come out late and everyone will be done and I'll just be starting and everyone will be mad at me because I don't wanna leave. But I'll just be starting to eat. I'll just eat real fast as soon as I get my food. The trip ticket came, looks like, with Pad Thai or Khao Soi and a drink. And then for me, it was 90 baht because it wasn't on my ticket. Now I remember the lady asking other people that were buying tickets if they wanted food or she was saying Khao Soi. There it is. Crispy noodles. Yum. Delicious ice cream. The ice cream was free. She said I could eat as much ice cream as I wanted to. I had two scoops and that was enough. I'm full. 
Got a full belly, me and my little friend here, Mr. Mukau. My other friend, Mr. Mukau. And then there's that fish frog I seen in the tree. It's probably still there, fast asleep. What is that thing? A fish or a frog or a fish frog? <laughs> you know, from this angle, I can't tell what it is. I think it's a frog. I'll have to check the footage later. He's sleepy. He's a real sleepy little grumpy little guy. Probably hung over. He was probably partying all night. We stopped for about uh, 45 minutes here and look at all these beautiful plants. Lots of berries and uh, jackfruit, coffee, mango trees, coriander. There goes a bird. And they probably got fish in these little ponds too to kill the mosquitoes. Time to head on back to the boat. That concludes our first leg of the tour. Next we're off to, I think back to where we started. And then I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do later tonight. This dock, it's gonna break. I don't like it very much. I'm going for it. Oh yeah, did it. Yeah, I don't know if tonight maybe I go to Doisetep, do the night temple thing. I've been there before, but not at night. I wonder if this bamboo is a fish trap. I think there's 12 people on the boat. Everybody seems to be comfortable. There's a, a spot for everybody. I get to sit in the front there. I always sit in the front, sit alone. Just for the little short stop, now we're on our way. Probably go back, I think. They love to fish. Under construction gonna have the coolest peak around. King and his wife. Barking doggos. Bark, bark, bark. There's the narrow watt bridge. There's a look at the launch from uh, the river. They're just waiting for the next group to, uh, to jump on and join. My thoughts would be maybe to come and do this tour in the evening, not the middle of the day. Let's see how good of a job it is parking this vessel. He's been a good driver so far. Hope he doesn't choke now. He's gonna nail it. Yep, nail it. King of the water. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Thank you. So I just asked the lady about the tickets, how you get tickets with food included. She said you have to buy them from her, but or you could do it online. Get hit by a tuk tuk yet here. As far as the tour went, it was um, it was good. It was a good tour. It wasn't like the most exciting thing I've ever done, but it was just a relaxing, relaxing couple hours on the river. And those plants were pretty cool to see. I never seen a pepper tree, peppercorn. I didn't even know they were on trees. A little frog in the tree. A little thirsty little guy. The uh, river is pretty nice just tons of people fishing. The guide spoke really good English. The sound system on the boat wasn't really that good. I couldn't really hear. So I'm the Jonting Ape, and that was the Mei Ping River Cruise here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. The world is yours.